Hey guys. Hey. Hey, it's 57 degrees with a low of 43. Nice and sunny out there, isn't it? And you've already been outside and we've both it's been outside. Beautiful. It's really nice out there. Um, just a tiny bit of a breeze, not super breezy like it's been lately where it's, you know, even even when there's a little bit of sun and 60 degrees, you get that really hard breeze and it just freezes you to death. And uh, mm-hmm. lately, it's been like a wet air, right? Like it's like it's really cold, wet air hitting you. So today is a nice change. Um, so we hit 88 subscribers. Woo! We are getting close to 100. And um, when I'm looking at the analytics and all, <clears throat> our click through where where people are actually, uh, you know, four months ago or five months ago. People were watching like often 10, 20, 30 seconds a minute of our videos and then clicking away from them. And now it's 9.7%. So so over 90% of our um, people that are clicking on our videos are watching the majority of them now versus probably a very small percent six months ago. <laughs> so... Um, when we look at the analytics, at, at about 80 subscribers, we have around 1,500 viewing hours. So we need about 4,000 viewing hours to be monetized. Um, so what does that mean? So basically, when you hit maybe 300 subscribers, 400 subscribers, between that and 1,000... You're basically giving YouTube free money until you hit a thousand subscribers, because they get all that rev, that ad revenue when you could be getting it. <laughs> so it it's interesting. You can really delve like deep into the the analytics of YouTube once you get to know how how everything works, and and they're pretty uh, efficient or whatever uh, detailed. They're they're pretty detailed in how that works. But today is a special day because we have someone else, right? Yes. And what's today's topic of discussion? So I'm here today with a very, very special special guest, my mama. Hello. Kathy Purcell. And we are going to be updating how she is doing on uprooting her, she is now in an apartment in an apartment. Okay, mom. So how's it going? I am absolutely happy. Okay, why? What's different? Um, first of all, it's not a mobile home anymore. It is a solid wall, concrete building which keeps out pollen and a lot of noise and a lot of smoke and it's just warmer and it's cooler in the summertime and it's just really nice. So what is the biggest difference from like being out in the booties to now being around people like right next door to you. You live in an apartment complex. Like that's a major change. Um, it's kind of nice seeing people more often. I feel safer. Uh, no serious solid friendships yet, but again, I have a sense that the people who are there uh, would help me if I needed help. Okay, and how do you like being close to like the grocery store and like out shopping and like that kind of thing because I know when you were in the country, dad kind of did most of shopping and that kind of thing. So like how's it? I absolutely love it. And there goes all of my money. (laughs) Is it scary to have to do that or is it like... Um, not scary. Sometimes it's hard when I don't feel well, but I press through and I manage to get the job done. And 
What about like the noise? Like we talked on last week about you being personally deaf. Like how do you handle like the boo boxes? Like you hear boo boxes. What about ambulances? Like you're right by the hospital. The ambulances I find comforting. I guess the pitch and the high sound. Um, and of course I pray because I know there's people that have been injured or sick, so I pray for them and the ambulance drivers. The boom blasters, however, I could well do without. And the minute they hit, I normally put my earplugs in my ears and I pray that they go away as quickly as they came. Is it as bad as you thought it would be, though, or...? Not as bad as I thought yet. Actually, even on weekends, it's quiet most of the time. And you've made, you've made at least one new friend, right? Yes. <laughs> She's waiting on me to comment, folks. Yeah. Um, yes, I've made a very good friend. Um, I'm comfortable, I feel safe, I feel cared for, and we're just buddies hanging out. <laughs> so what about all the, like, I know we went through some major, major, major anxiety, like a few, um, being on your own and kind of having to actually adult now and like... Adult? Pay bills and... <laughs> no comment. Pay bills and, like, use a debit card and... <laughs> Scary. Okay, so, like, elaborate. Um, now that I know how to do some of those things, I'm calmer. Um, all I basically do is ask the people at the register to just help me. I use the excuse, which is not a lie, that I can't see half the time. So they normally either do it for me or show me where to do it. Um, I must say that tapping the card is too easy because you just kind of realize how simple it would be to just spend all your money in a matter of seconds. Um, I'm doing all right overall, I guess. What about like... Um or internet or cable TV, like what? What it is? We set you up basically where you have, where you have just internet, and then you stream all of your TV services. So how's that working out for you? Like so far, it's very good. <laughs> Once or twice, the net's gone down, and it took me a little while to figure out what I needed to do um, without calling you guys. I called the services. I called Cox TV, and it was only a matter of time before they explained and got things back up and running for me. Um, I'm learning how to flip my way through all the different thousands of places I can go to. A few times I've subscribed when I was not supposed to, <laughs> and finally we caught it, and now they will no longer get my money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it it's so far. And what about like um your physical ailments? Like I know you have like a bad back and bad hips and mm. a bad foot and a bad knee. So like how's that all now playing out, like as far as you having to be a concrete and Um, in a whole lot of ways it's actually way, way, way better. I'm not going up and down stairs every day, which I think was a problem for my back, my knees, and my leg. Um, the concrete floors aren't bothering me as bad as I thought they would. The shower, however, will eventually be an issue because it's very tall, and I'm very old, and it's hard sometimes to step over it. So we'll work on that as time goes. Everything else, I'm very comfortable. Probably needs to be a grip. Yeah, I need I need handrails put yeah. up, and I have a chair for the shower. Um, what about like okay? We didn't really talk about this before, but I don't. I guess I didn't see it as part of upbringing you an issue. 
But my mom's been on Heineken. Gonna live for like 30 years. I just now found out there's a place in town where you can buy CBD, which you've been on occasionally, off and on for a while. But yes. now you found out what? Um, I just happened to find a little store. Believe it or not, a lot of the stores don't carry just the basic CBD, uh, which is surprising um, because they have all the marijuana medical centers and everything else in our town, but I guess there's just still a war going on. Uh, I happen to run across a store uh, where they have an actual chemist uh, scientist, and he actually is a very well-read and researched in CBD and its components and how it works in the body. And he set me up personally uh, with CBD isolates, I'm not very good at this, um, but I guess there's a time to where uh, one works on the cannabinoids in the body and the other one works on the opiates in the body. And um, it has B6, B12, a couple of amino acids, and a few other things in it also. Uh, and I am thrilled. I'm actually completely off the, CB, or off the hydrocodone uh, for a week now. I also have not taken one Tylenol, which is historical because I started taking Tylenol at 21 years of age when I broke my tailbone. So, so far right now, I am extremely thankful and happy. It is working. So, overall, the huge change step forward in your life. Has been positive. Absolutely. 100,000%. Good. I'm so happy. All right. And I think that's all for today. So just a quick update on how mom was doing on her. On uprooting her life. And she's now happy and in the apartment. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.